Okay, so this is a really good example of why it's really good to know how to, to repair things. Um, this is a little uh, torch from the 99p store, which uh, you can mount on your head. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty powerful. That's uh, against the room light. Um, now, if we have a look uh, here, uh, I'm pretty sure the reason why it's in there is because um, this, uh, b the bit which attaches the straps for going over your head, uh, really sucks. And having actually used it for a couple of days, I can tell you it comes off really, really easily. So all I'm going to do is um, just take a little cable tie, um, shove it straight through there, and then glue it down. And uh, that should make this rather usable. Um, so for 99p, that's a fantastic torch. So. Um, uh, anyhow, I'll quickly uh, do that and then I'll show you the result. So here I am just starting by cutting off um, these little bits. Um, the idea is that then these are just going to go through here like that and then I'm going to glue them uh, in underneath. So actually let's find out where, how long that needs to be. I'm going to give just a little bit of overhang on each side. So that's where I'm going to cut it to there. There we go. So I like that. I'll do the same with the others. Okay, so I've got all these cut down to size now. So we've got the four different colours for the four different lights. Now, something I just realised is that uh, there's an assumption I made that might not be valid. So let's quickly find out. Is that all in view? It is. Good. Okay, so we take one of these and stick it through here. That's good, that's roughly right. If we stick it through here, this is my assumption because I only tested one side. You see these are actually a little bit, uh, they're a bit too long on here, but I'd rather it be a little bit too long than a little bit too short. So I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to glue those. Let's quickly do that. So let's start with one side. Whoops. Doesn't matter if it's a bit messy. If you're going to touch it like that you need to be aware of how quickly the glue cools. Now in a minute or two, I'm going to strengthen this up by putting glue um, over the top of this line. Let's just change the position of that slightly. I'm going to put glue just over the top of this line, and I'm also going to put it underneath on the other side as well to give it a good wrapping around. But I want this first set to cool, and I'm going to do the other side to support it first. So we're now going to move that down, and we're going to do this other side. Got it. <laughs> Can you say overkill? <laughs> Okay, while we're waiting, I'm going to go and get all the other ones done. i found it's actually faster just to do one side uh, and then move on to the next one um, so it has a chance to dry and then come back to it. So now I can come back and uh, uh, do this other side on each one. Um, first we just need to make sure that I haven't glued the strap to the first end and that's looking pretty good. So now let's uh, put this in. This is going to be a little more tricky to do without burning myself. That's a bit better. And once again, we'll move that out of the way. I'm sure you could make this much more beautiful than I am. Um, that's not really what I'm uh, going for here. I just want it to be practical. I'm just finishing off the last little bits of this. So little blobs like that. Um, and. It occurred to me I've got a little bit of a design flaw myself in this, in that um, potentially I've got these sharp bits which are going to be sitting on my forehead. <laughs> so what I'm going to do on the next one, you may notice the red is still sitting there waiting to be done. Um, so what I do on the last one that I'm wearing, um, I'm going to put uh, these tabs on the other side and I think that'll make it much more comfortable to wear. And then these ones can just be backup ones, or I may end up redoing them at some point. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm quite happy to be wrong here. Um, it isn't actually uh, uncomfortable for at all. If anything, it's actually slightly more ergonomic because it's uh, contouring to my face just a little bit more. Um, in any case, I am going to do this the other way in, in any way. The reason why is I want to have a comparison, so I'm going to take uh, when I go on my next bike ride, I'm going to take, ouch, hot glue, um, I'm going to take one 
uh, which is done one way, and one which is done the other way, and I'll see um, how they compare, uh, because it may well be after I've been wearing it for a while, uh, that's when it's more noticeable. Okay, so I've uh, been wearing this style um, for a while now, while I've been finishing off this and uh, various little bits, and uh, uh, it's very, very close in the comfort level between them. Um, if anything, this might be slightly more comfortable. What will be really interesting is, uh, last night I was on a bike ride, it was quite... Uh, it wasn't massively cold outside, but um, the I had one of these on, and the water got in between uh, this and my forehead, um, and then the wind uh, sort of basically turned my forehead into a fridge um, and that was very unpleasant so I'm going to play with ideas on how to uh, reduce that. It may be simply a case of taking an old sock and like sticking it in between there to stop the airflow. Um, uh, yeah, so anyway that'll be interesting to try but I'm, I'm going to take one of the style one of the style on the next bike ride and we'll see how it goes. Uh, but this is looking very promising.